One of the reasons why music is the root of this project is because as a young person who felt very queer, but also unsure what that meant, I was very much afraid to become a musician and a choir director because I had noticed that a lot of them were dying and that there was a lot of rumor and a lot of gossip about these musicians, but there wasn't a lot of conversation about their life. There was a lot of castigation and a lot of nasty language used to describe them. And I was deeply afraid that I was becoming like the very ones who were dying. I am trying to also use music as a staging ground for a reckoning with stories that have not been told that need to be told. So this is a return to music making in a much more intentional way than I had done in such a very long time. Music for me is this thing that gets in us and it teaches us and it moves us and it has this capacity to change us. What most excites me is trying to tell the story of loss and trying to tell the story of musical genius. I'm really interested in telling that story in the space of the National Mall because it becomes an occasion perhaps to begin to reckon with what it meant to lose these kinds of musical geniuses without actually thinking about what their lives meant and what the loss of their lives meant.